Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at some third equations. And the third equations that we're looking at, you can see, have square roots in them. Okay, so we need to deal with these square roots before we can do anything else. Now, the method that we're going to use to deal with these square roots is to square them. So if we square a square root, then we get uh, the thing underneath the square root sign uh, on its own. So if I go ahead and square that there, I'll be left with x plus 3. So the square root of x plus 3 to be squared is x plus 3. But because I'm dealing with equations, if I square one side, I have to square the other side. So I end up getting x plus 3 is equal to 16. So that means x is equal to 16 minus 3, which is 13. Now for the other one, it's a little bit trickier. We have to first isolate one of these here and then square both sides. If we were to go ahead and square both sides now, it would be this whole thing here squared so it would be the square of the first, twice the product, and the square of the last. So we'd be multiplying the square root of x plus 4 by the square root of x minus 1. And that's not really going to help us at all. So I'm going to isolate this square root of x plus 4 on the left-hand side on its own by adding the square root of x minus 1 to both sides. So the square root of x plus 4 is equal to 1 plus the square root of x minus 1. Now I have this isolated and I can square both sides. And you'll see what will happen to this side in a minute. So the square root of x plus 4 squared is x plus 4. Now squaring out this, so we've two terms, we've 1 and we've the square root of x minus 1. So it's the square of the first term, so 1 squared is 1. It's twice the product. The product of 1 times the square root of x minus 1 is the square root of x minus 1. Twice that is plus 2 square root x minus 1. And then the square of the square root of x minus 1 is x minus 1. Okay, so now you can see by isolating uh, one of the square roots, and then squaring both sides, I've gone from an equation that has two square roots to an equation that has only one. So now we'll do the same thing again. I'll isolate this square root and then square both sides. So over here on the right hand side, I have one and minus one. So that equals zero. Don't have to worry about them. I'm going to take away x from both sides. And that's going to leave me with four is equal to two square root x minus 1. Now there's two approaches that I can take now. I could divide both sides by 2 or I could go ahead and square both sides at the same time. Um, I'm going to show you both. So I'll show you first dividing both sides by 2 will give me 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 root x minus 1 divided by 2 is root x minus 1. Now I can square both sides, so I get 2 squared is 4 equal to x minus 1, and now I can add, x, add 1 sorry, to both sides to get x equal to 5. Now the other method that I could have used at this stage here was just to square both sides as they were. So 4 equals 2 root x minus 1. So if I square both sides now, squared, squared, 4 squared is 16. Now to square 2 square root x minus 1, I need to first square the 2. So it's 2 squared is 4. And then square the square root of x minus 1. So I get 16 is equal to 4 times x minus 1. Now I can either divide by 4 or I can multiply out the brackets. If I divide by 4, I'll end up with this line here. If I multiply out the brackets, 
I'd get 16 is equal to 4x minus 4. Now I'll add 4 to both sides. So 16 plus 4 is 20. And now you see I have to divide by 4. So I end up getting the same answer of as x equal to 5. So it's just a couple of methods that you can use there. Both are absolutely fine. Um, so you can use either one. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.